Uh, I'm gonna need a little help from Sari-san. Saurikun? Hmm? Good, aren't they? By the way, <clears throat> there's something I need to ask you. Absolutely not. Oh, come on, Sari-san. You ate all that mochi, didn't you? Those were a trap. I don't approve of such trickery. Come on. Could be fun being a hostess for a day. Though what that club owner sees in you is beyond me, that's for sure. <clears throat> It'll be fine, Sari-san. We're not asking you to be their number one girl. No. If we got you a new dress, you'd look the part. It'll be one of those extreme makeovers. No. What about that mochi? I'll get you some more if you do it. No. I don't think she's gonna budge, Yagami. Guess not. I don't even know if the manager was that serious anyway. What do you mean, not that serious? What do you see when you look at Saori san, huh? No, it's not that. She's just clearly not into the idea. But why would she be with the way you're approaching it? Talking about how she doesn't have to be the number one girl or giving her a makeover. If you'd look a little closer, maybe you'd understand. Saori san could be the best hostess in this whole damn town if she wanted to. Isn't that right, Saori san? If you really believe that, I guess I could give it a try. Wait, huh? what? I'll do it. I'll be Kamarocho's number one hostess. That's what I'm talking about! Okay, uh, you can pick out a dress, Yagami-san. And she'll need a haircut and makeup, too. You don't mind shelling out for this, do you? Hmm? No, it's fine, but I have to pick the dress? Don't worry. There's a shop around here that caters exclusively to hostesses looking for outfits. You can't go wrong at a place like that. But how's she gonna be the best if she goes to the same store as all the other girls? The primary goal here is finding out what Hoshki and Shona were talking about, right? Yeah. Then stop complaining. Becoming the best will just happen naturally. Let's go, Yagami-san. We have a dress to buy. See? I knew you had it in you. Huh. That worked out just fine. Yeah. But I'm kind of afraid of what'll happen if things don't go well at the club. I'm sure it'll go great. Knowing sorry, son, how could it not? Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to La Marche. Hey, we're looking for a dress. Specifically one for a club called Queen Rouge. Any recommendations? But of course, sir. Now then, our dresses are right this way. How's it going in there, Sari-san? Almost done? Hold on a second. I don't usually dress like this. You know, it almost feels like we're on a date. Mafia won't be happy about that. Sari-san, you've known Mafuyu since you were a kid, right? Yes, we were close in our early teens. But then we grew distant and didn't reconnect until law school. Right, I remember now. Mafu's family was wealthy, so she knew how to socialize. Whereas I preferred to keep to myself. My classmates often bullied me. But whenever anything got too bad, Mafu was always there to protect me. Even then, she wanted to be a prosecutor. She didn't know it at the time, but I really respected her. Is that why you decided to go into law? 
Yes. At first, I wanted to be a prosecutor too. But ultimately, protecting the weak fits my personality better than punishing evil. Sorry, Yagami-san. I'm not normally this talkative. Everyone has a story to tell. Speaking of which, Mafiu looked up to someone too. Hmm? When she was just a young girl, she and her mother were victims of a hit and run. Yeah, she told me about that. Her mother threw herself in front of Mafiu, but ended up unstable and unconscious for a while afterward. Yes. They ultimately caught the culprit, but Mafiu's mother was still comatose at the time of the trial. With how young Mafiu was at the time, it was difficult for her to explain to the police what happened. But the prosecutor was very patient, investigating every last detail of how the accident happened. Wow. He fought for justice in place of a victim who couldn't fight for herself. In fact, that may have been Mafiu's first love. Huh? The prosecutor? He's Mafiu's boss now. Mori Tassan. Huh? That's pretty crazy. Never expected she'd be into older men. Do you remember when I first introduced you to Yagami-san? We were all drinking together at Tender. That was the day Mori Tassan had married another woman. So, I wanted Mafiu to meet someone better. That's why I invited you. Huh, now that you mention it, she did seem kind of down that night. <laughs> Does it surprise you? Not sure I'm gonna be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> I'm glad I told you then. <laughs> I'm kidding. Seriously though, meeting you helped Mafiu realize the difference between love and admiration. <laughs> she thought your bad boy act was cute, by the way. Bad boy? Sorry. Anyway, I'm done changing. Hmm? Huh. Not bad. You think? Oh, hold on. Let me get a picture. Huh? Uploading photos without an individual's permission is... Sorry. Hoshino-kun asked me to do it. Said he wants to figure out the best makeup for your dress. Huh. And speak of the devil. It's me, Hoshino. You're a natural at this, Yagami-san. Saori-san is as beautiful as ever. Man, this is incredible. I should have tagged along after all. <clears throat> so, which salon should we go to? Oh, uh, right. There's a place called Cherry, also on Showa Street. They do top-notch work. It's not far, either. Got it, thanks. Welcome, sir. What can we do for you today? You look better than I expected. I'd rather you didn't stare like that. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, let's head to the Queen Rouge.
Hey, smile for me, beautiful. Oh, she's a knockout. Uh, I'll knock you out. Oh, no, I meant a dress. Just a dress. Hey, girl. Yo, what club you work for, huh? You got a gig tonight, babe? We'll pay you double. Hey, where's she work? That's where I want to be. Huh? Oh, well, um... Yes, come right in, sir. Thank you for choosing us yet again. Hmm. Oh, it's you. Where's the girl? You're gonna bring her, yeah? How soon can you start work? Tonight, as long as there aren't any problems. Girl's got potential, but we'll see whether or not she's got what it takes to shine. <clears throat> Holy shit. This is Sari Shirosaki-san. Ah, uh, ah, uh, you have the job. <laughs> You're like a freaking angel. Come work for us, please. I'm Shirosaki. Nice to meet you. I think she's still kind of nervous, but she'll warm up soon enough. Nope. She's perfect. I'm loving that I don't care vibe. Huh? I've never really entertained anyone before, but... Not a problem. Not a problem at all. It looks like that. Who needs experience? <laughs> Let's get you situated. Right this way, beautiful. This is the first and last time, Yagami-san. I know. We just have to figure out what Hashiki and Shona were talking about. The hostess they were with should know. Okay, I'll track her down somehow. I'll call you once I do. Sorry, son, was it? Follow me. Now, you said you don't have much experience. But honestly, you seem okay to me. Your responses have been spot on. Do you mean that? See, that humility is key. Young girls like you are way too casual nowadays. I'm not even that young. We're on the high end of Kamurocho clubs, you see. Naturally, our customers are of a higher status as well. Executives from massive corporations will come here to entertain guests, or celebrities will come to throw parties. Given their social standing, it's important to be as polite as possible. Understand? Yes. Other than that, is there anything in particular I should be aware of? Number one is try to stay engaged, no matter what. Act like you're having fun and toss out tons of compliments. So I should kill them with kindness. And once they drain their glass, get them to order another. Ask for one for yourself, too. You're saying I need to beg? Oh yeah, these guys will do anything you want if you just ask nice and rub up on them. I'm not doing that. Either way, you're not going to be the only girl at the table. Just do it like the other hostesses do. Well, that's how everyone learns coming in. I'll see what I can do. Okay, it's almost time for opening. We'll be starting on the floor, Sauri san Good luck. Hi, I'm Sumi Ray. Hiya, I'm Mika. Please call me Sauri, sir. Oh, <laughs> what a beautiful, elegant woman. Come, take a seat. 
If it's all right with you, sir. And so, as the young blood in the company, I was called on to make a sacrifice for the greater good. A sacrifice? They're working you to the bone. It's a shame how much some places impose on their workers. But you'll persevere in the end. I just know it. Oh, you can tell? Of course. I get the feeling you're super reliable, like you'll do whatever needs to be done. <laughs> A feeling, huh? That just means you don't know for sure. No, 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 no. She can see how valuable I really am. Now she just has to convince my boss. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the fun. You've been requested by another customer, Sumeri san. Ah, apologies. You'll have to excuse me. Well, that's how the professional world is. If you want to climb the ladder, you have to be persistent. Yes, precisely. Have you ever experienced something like that? Huh? I, um... Did you fall asleep? Uh, of course I didn't! My mind just... wandered off! Objection. You're simply rephrasing the same conclusion. Objection? Am I on trial now? <laughs> you two would make a great comedy duo! You'd make a great lawyer, Salary chan Hey, maybe I'll hire you as a consultant. I may just take you up on that if you're not careful. <sighs> I'm so sorry about that. You were covering for me that whole time. Don't worry about it. I'm used to paying attention to my surroundings. You really have what it takes, Saori san. Way more than me. I don't know. You seem to be far better adjusted. How long have you been working here? Hmm, maybe six months? At least I'm better now than I was back then. I was the worst girl in the club, without a doubt. One time a customer even yelled at me. I remember it like it was yesterday, and I'm always so scared that it'll happen again. It's okay. We all have down days at work every so often. Uh, about that customer? Um, well, after he left the club that day, he... he died. What? You probably heard about it when it happened. He got drunk, got in a fight, and then died from his injuries. He was apparently pretty important, too. Involved in researching this new drug called AD9. You mean Hoshkisan from the ADDC? Yeah, that's the guy! You knew him? The case was all over the news, yes. I read quite a lot about his death. I poured the drinks Hoshkisan got drunk off of, and it was my carelessness that made him upset. I can't help but feel responsible for him getting in the fight that killed him. My sales numbers aren't so good either. I'm kind of worried that they're going to fire me. I know I should do more to boost my numbers, but I always think back to Hashki-san. About that, Mika-san. Mika-san, Saori-san, you've got a customer. <laughs> Be right there. Sorry, that got kind of dark, huh? Sorry, son. You good? Oh, sorry. I'm heading over now.
you're running low. How about another drink? Huh? Well, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> Let me see here. Why don't you splurge on something fancy? I wish I could, but the wallet's kind of light this month. Aw, really? Hey, don't be like that. You're here to have fun, aren't you? Oh. She's right. Though I can think of something even more fun than this. Uh, um... All right. Give me your finest booze. Yay! You're the best! Fresh bottle coming right up! You're incredible, sorry son I've never seen numbers that high before. Don't thank me. That was all you, Mikasan. Hey, let's go grab some drinks. My treat. I want to pay you back for tonight. <sighs> I couldn't. Actually, I know just the spot. Want to go there? I can't wait to learn more about you, Mikasan. Totally down. We just gotta hang in till our shift's over. Hello, Yagami-san? Hey, any luck? Yes, I made friends with the girl who served Hoshki six months ago. We're gonna bounce and go to tender in a few. Perfect. Wait, did you just say bounce? Forget that. Where are you? At my office. A lot happened after I dropped you off at the club. Care to elaborate? Well, maybe later. This is the first and last time, Yagami-san. I know. We just have to figure out what Hashkin and Shona were talking about. The hostess they were with should know. Okay, I'll track her down somehow. I'll call you once I do.